Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. It's been a while. I have been uh, extremely busy. Uh, I've also been thinking, contemplating what to say um, publicly. Uh, I, I talk to a lot of people around here. Um, friends, acquaintance, preppers, patriots. Um, but I haven't really made any statements on YouTube. One thing is be patient. Very patient. We as Americans want results, we want uh, satisfaction, uh, we want our way, um, and we want everything now, now, now. But what's happening now is going to take a little bit of time, and we're not going to be showing evidence of fraud, uh, of deceit, uh, until it's time. And, and I don't care. Uh, I want them to have the time they need to, to gather evidence. Uh, of election fraud, uh, of treason, and then present it to the court system that needs to hear it. And hopefully it will be presented to the Supreme Court. I hope you're praying. Number one is praying. Because um, we need divine intervention in this country. Uh, we are at a crossroads. Um, and you need to get busy, you need to get off your butt, and you need to get ready for it. You need to make sure your friends are ready for it. Um, you need to do what you can do. You might not be able to go to Washington, D.C. and protest, um, but we need to be protesting at our local levels, at our county council buildings, uh, city council buildings and where they have meetings. That is where we're going to have to be. Uh, and that's what I've started to do. I went to the last committee meeting of our county council because there's a gun legislation uh, law resolution uh, that they're going to pass making us a Second Amendment sanctuary county. Um, next week it's going to come up for vote. I'll do a separate video. I will be there at the county council. And if, you're, if you live in the upper upstate of South Carolina, hopefully you can join me there. I will be there. I'll give you more details um, just so we can show our county councilmen uh, that we are going to take a stand and you better take that stand with us because we would love for you uh, as our representatives in this county uh, to stand for what is right, to stand for the Second Amendment, to stand for the whole Constitution. Um, but you need to be patient. During this time, you need to be looking at a lot of little things you need to be getting done. Um, slings for weapons, um, backup sites, uh, maybe scope covers. You need to do an inventory and look at all that small stuff that you've been putting off. And I talked to a buddy the other day and I was going through his gun safe with him, very large gun safe, and he's saying, oh, I want to buy another 308 rifle, like 16, 7, I don't know, $1,800. And I'm like, dude, you got to get backup sites for these weapons. You don't even have enough red dots. And he's getting old, and a red dot does help at close range. Um, you don't even know how much ammo you have. So I urge you, if you don't need another rifle, put that money into scopes. Put that money into cleaning supplies. Put that money into uh, slings, into swivels for those sw slings. Uh, look at what you need for the firearms you have, and get that stuff now. High capacity magazines, or really they're called magazines, standard magazines. Um, get what you need now and forget buying another rifle. If you've got a gun safe or multiple gun safes full, think about those little things you're going to need. You know, I'd love to jump up and down and holler and scream, but that's not going to do us any good. What's going to do us good is careful thoughtful, uh, analyzing all of the intelligence in front of us. And I'm really referring to your local area. If push comes to shove, and we are very close in this country, there are two groups of people. I will call them socialists and communists, far left wing, and then you have God-fearing, constitutional loving, uh, red-blooded Americans. And these two sides will never get back together. It's totally impossible. Uh, Biden is calling for unity. 
I never heard him call for unity during the Trump administration when they took over, during the whole time. So there will be no unity. Uh, there's no way I can find any common ground with the other side. There is zero common ground. Their whole belief structure is 100% opposite of what I believe in. So, there will be a conflict. Uh, I don't want a conflict. I've been around the world and seen conflicts. Um, I've lost lots of good friends. I've put them in body, I've put them in body bags. Uh, and these are just people I knew through the service, through the military, guys that I just might have known for a year or two, or guys that really didn't even hardly know they just joined my unit. How is it going to be when you have friends that you've known for 20, 30 years, or family members, or children, uh, mothers and fathers, uh, people you love? So I do not look forward to this conflict at all. I totally, I, I pray it never happens. I pray the court systems can fix it, uh, and people can be punished, and we can be put back on that path of the republic, aiming towards that constitution. Uh, trying to stay as close to that Constitution as we can, but I fear we can't. So I'm urging you, be patient, get your crap together. Um, if your crap is not together right now, you are so wrong, um, beyond wrong. If you're the guy that owns 20 rifles, pick one rifle, forget the other 19, make sure it's sighted in, make sure it's tuned the way you need it, Get your gear set and then start looking at your local community. Looking at your AO. Can I hold this piece of ground? What is strategically and tactically uh, important in my area that we, as constitutionalists, God fearing guys, gales, need to hold so we could prevail if there's an armed conflict? Start looking at that. Start getting some training train with people that know what they're doing. I've seen a lot of guys train other people. Yeah, they might have been in the army, but they were not doing the tasks or the jobs, um, the point of the spear that we need them to have done. Yes, they can give, still offer a lot of good things, so I'm not discounting that. But I hate seeing things done wrong, training the wrong way. I urge you all, train FM7-8. If everyone can master that, doesn't matter where you come. You could be from Alaska and you could pop into my group of guys. And if you know FM7-8, it'll take you just just very um, minutes or an hour or two to check on my SOPs and, and my way we do things, procedures, and you could join right in. Urge you to get training. Be patient. Pray, pray, pray like you've never prayed before. The hurt that could open up on this country is something you cannot even imagine. The tr true brutality of what could happen in a civil war um, is something you don't even want to see. I could tell you stories. It, it, does, it doesn't, ma not, doesn't make any sense to. Brutality will be done to Americans. I pray that our side does not do this. I pray our side shows mercy, love, compassion, but also are very firm that we will not tolerate any subversion of the Constitution, any treason, any breaking and trying to take our republic and form it into a socialist country. So pray, prepare, prep. Thanks for watching.